Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. We have pro tips to help you stay inspired outdoors. Now today we thought we'd do a feature on water. What is a water feature anyway? Is it fails on the beach? Is it a broken pipe under the sink? Is it your grandma's outhouse? No, we're talking about outdoor water features that you can enjoy and relax with. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I did to take a normal piece of pottery and convert it to be an outdoor water feature. But before I do, I wanna take a moment and talk about thanking everyone for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, please do so. We have all kinds of great outdoor inspirational content uh, each week. So back to the water feature. You know, my last name means fountain. If you didn't know that, Fontaine is French for fountain. It inspired me more to fall in love with fountains naturally. And I tell you, having an outdoor fountain or water feature at your patio, at your front of your door is so enjoyable, not only for you, but guests. And you get to not only see something beautiful, and see the action of that water, but you hear it. And that's the real relaxing thing that water features are just awesome for. So can't wait, let's get into this video. So this uh, glazed pot I picked up, and it's a good sized piece of pottery. Um, you know, meant for flowers and plants to be put in it, but you can convert these to water features pretty easily by plumbing it with some PVC pipe up through the middle. And what you do is you just dig a nice hole according to your reservoir size. Mine happens to be a 36 inch wide. So it's about a foot or so deep. So you wanna mimic that hole, but don't go quite as deep because what you want is a little lip to come out of the ground. And what that's gonna do is allow for no uh, contamination spilling into your reservoir. These grates right here will go along the top, uh, surrounded to encase. Um, the centerpiece is your weight bearing um, element of the uh, water feature. Your pump goes inside and then you plumb the pump up through the pottery and you wanna do a PVC pipe just below the level of the pot and that way it'll spill over and into back into your basin. Several ways you can level, make sure you have a good level reservoir. Uh, one is to compact the base which is always a good idea. You can add sand, uh, crushed rock, if you have soft soil. Um, the weight of the water is gonna naturally settle it, but you do want a level bottom to start with. So some people will use a level down on the ground, and that's fine. Um, another way you can do it is, if you got the pottery, or the reservoir ready, and once it's in, what I like to do is stretch across a two by four, something very straight, and then you're adding a level to that. So yeah, just use any straight piece of wood that you can find around the house. Um, I have this nice trim board, it's pretty straight. And then you put a nice little level on top and read the bubble. So you want it leveled several different directions. So you want to check a few different spots to make sure each lip is even with the opposite side. So I'm pretty close to level and so next I'm gonna tamp the bottom soil. So not everybody has a hand tamp, neither do I, believe it or not. Working at home, just use a barbell, dumbbell. And what this is gonna do is pack the clay or soil that you have 
nice and firm down below and makes it really nice and rigid and it'll support the weight and it won't start to lean over time the more you can pack it. Like I mentioned, you do want to add some gravel or other aggregate or sand and that's gonna further beef up your foundation. Sand's usually the best for a little bit of leveling uh, here and there. We compacted it one more time. We add the reservoir down and see if we can't step on it. And then we'll start to fine tune the leveling. And as far as pumps go, you know, consult your local um, vendor for which size pump you need. It's based on how much volume you need and um, how, how much action or water you want to hear and see flush out the top. This one's uh, by Fountain Tech, an FT300. So it um, says here on the box, good for three and a half foot tall. Another thing that's kind of nice too is they give you multiple adapters depending on the size of your tubing so you can make sure it fits. And like I mentioned, this pump's going to go down inside the main reservoir. Okay, so this takes the biggest size. Okay, what's really neat is they, you know, you got your pump down the reservoir. So this tubing will go up, of course, through your pottery. Now, I'm gonna convert this to PVC um, or put a PVC sleeve over this because we want a nice rigid PVC conduit coming through the middle. And then the cord just leaves and you know, Extension cords are okay. Find a nearest outlet. I happen to be, I'm gonna go through uh, my garage with a cord drill through. So these grates easily removed periodically to remove sediment buildup. Do maintenance on your water feature. Really nice system. All right, so some pottery will come pre-plumbed, uh, ready to go for being a water fountain, this one's not, so we're gonna have to cut a bigger hole out the bottom. And I've got a masonry bit here. So, this'll accept the PVC pipe. We'll have a PVC fitting at the bottom like that. So this threaded part is going to go into the hole. And then from underneath, this is a large nut that will give it tension and tightness so it stays rigid. So um, I'm going to measure and cut the pipe first and then mount it. Let that set up. 
I think what I'm gonna do is paint this pipe. That way the pipe can be uh, somewhat hidden as it sits in the inside. And one critical note too is when this um, pipe goes in the hole, you're gonna want to put um, a waterproofed uh, silicon or caulking at the base of that um, end and also on the other opposite side in the back when you're putting the uh, locking nut down and that's gonna prevent water from leaking out of the container so you'll stay full all the time. The water won't escape, in other words. Pipe secured, the PVC secured. I put extra silicone at the base and if you look at the back, the um, set screws in and silicon as well. Like I mentioned, you definitely want uh, water tight because you want all the water to stay in. So we're gonna let that set up for a day and we'll get some water in it. Pots in place and as you can see the uh, PVC is just below the top ridge. You can use these circles around the base as a guide to center to make sure you're on the center of the pedestal that supports the weight. And yeah, we'll let the uh, paint cure and uh, silicone cure and we'll be back in a jiffy to fill it up. All right guys, so we got the plants in, the mulch in, add a little bit of rock and of course the lighting for accent. So what I'm gonna do now is fill it up and you'll notice I've got a little T-bar action going on. That was because this PVC main pipe was a little um, leaning tower of Pisa. So you can add side supports as needed to make it nice and straight. I'm not going to turn on the pump now. I'm going to wait for it to fill completely up. All right, guys, so the top's filled, or the inside's filled up. And now I'm filling in the reservoir. You know, to check the reservoir, you just move some rocks out of the way. And this little pie-shaped piece just pulls right out. You can check with a finger if you don't have super thick fingers. You can check to see water level from a visual standpoint right there during the day. And, you know, they do use water. So, you know, water fountains will lose water, rather, through evaporation and spillage. You know, depending on how aggressive your flow is from the top and how much the reservoir is catching. You know, because some, some fountains really spill off quite a bit. Some do it naturally, depending on the level on your pump. And uh, so yeah, check your water occasionally and keep that water full. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This is a really fun project. You know, you can add this to any area of your home. And just delightful, fairly easy project, two day project. Uh, time-wise because you got to let caulk and paint dry otherwise it's just a day and if you have a pre-made water feature then golly it only takes uh, a few hours so hope everybody can stay inspired and if you have any comments or suggestions leave those below can't wait to see you guys again thank you so much for watching you know water features you do want to maintain them there is a water feature liquid that you can add in the water. Keeps the bugs out, the mosquitoes from germinating, and the algae. So, you know, check with a local vendor for that water liquid additive. Also, most of the time you're going to want to take the pump out 
every winter so it doesn't freeze. And so make it accessible so you can disconnect it off the tube and then take it away and then store it in your garage somewhere dry and not let it freeze throughout that winter. But like I said, water features are amazing for sight, visual, lighting them up at night so they can stay beautiful when guests arrive for parties. And of course that sound, sound is amazing. It soothes us, it calms us down and it makes for a wonderful outdoor living experience. But anyway guys, can't wait to see you in the next video.